It's tricky to do a film about such a serious subject as losing one's daughter or losing a family member. Mm -hmm. Yet you do that in a way that I don't think we really see. It's it's not a. Was there ever a, a, a thought into going at just a crime drama? Because this is really human drama. Yeah, I mean the crime drama part of it was not interesting to me. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't written that way anyway. Uh, when we were in pre-production um, in Boston, I, I was I was at lunchtime just like looking at um, um, just looking at emails and things like that, and up popped this trailer for uh, Three Billboards, and I was like, oh, no, um, a because he's he's a brilliant writer and director, but um, yeah. Madonna, but um, and Francis McDormand is incredible and an amazing cast. So I was like, that's uh, uh, no, but this is. This is powered by a different engine. Yeah. And uh, in some ways, it's a more, real, a more realist telling and a less, not to take away from Through Billboards because it's an excellent film, but it, th there's a, um, a, th a stylization in that film or a theatricalization of character and place and um, telling that's, there's a sort of element of satire. I don't know why I'm, com I'm getting into a comparison. Um, but, but you were talking about the, 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 the crime, murder, mystery sort yeah. of thing. Certainly the setup of this film of American women uh, in a conventional sense uh, um, leads you as a viewer to think, oh, here we go, we're going to get into a vengeance, vengeance story or we're gonna f this, this woman's going to find out who did it. Yeah. And actually... In real life, that's not what people get to do. Yeah. You know, what people get to do is go back to their lives and get on with it and suffer the loss. Um, and we worked, you know, very hard at, at trying to depict, de de depict that authentically, because as we all know in life, we have to contend with loss as a part of life. Yeah. Um, some of us do. Some people do better than others, but people do withstand the, the most tragic. Um, blows uh, and losses and and get on get back to life yeah. and I thought that was really interesting and in terms of resilience the story of resilience and struggle um, and she doesn't always do the right thing or she doesn't always make the right judgments but somehow she grows through the whole thing uh, Deb and um, that just wasn't that was a really interesting story to me and that was on the page Brad Inglesby wrote that um, and then we just burnished it more and she was amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. Did you know it, it's immediately that she was the one to take this role? As soon as I met her, yeah. Wow. I mean, it, didn't even, it was not even a conversation. It was as soon as I met her. She, Sienna walked across the room, and by the time she got to the table I was sitting at, I was like, <laughs> hmm, she might be, she, I think she might be the one. You know, and it, it was just, it was an instinct. Um, it helped that we got on and saw, really, saw the character in a similar way. But she also, uh, Sienna, in that first initial meeting, um, spoke of her fear about doing something like this. She actually w w was really open and honest about the uh, that that it was it was daunting, uh, a daunting prospect. And how could you go there into that place where you'd have to consider such a loss? And uh, as a mother herself, yeah. and the fact that she expressed that fear I, made her even more. Um, attractive to me as a, as a director to, to work with because I think um, if you can express your fear maybe you're the, you're, you've got the courage to face it, you know I need to know what happened to my daughter I am begging you, I'm begging you. to know that your daughter's out there somewhere and she's calling for you you can't get to her we just want to find her and bring her home you're a great mother that never changed. I miss my daughter. It's over. She's never coming back. Get out of my house! things to go back to the way they were before they are not going to go back to the way they were 
You make do with what's left.